It's been several years since my wife and I set up the nursery for our kids, so I'm a little bit out of the loop now. So today I'm at Goodnight Room and I'm with Ann. And Ann's going to share with us a little bit about how to set up a nursery today. And first off, I want to say, so the name has got to be a little bit of a nod to Goodnight Moon? Absolutely. All right. Well, so my question is, what are the components? I know that some things have changed, some are the same. Um, so where do we get started now? Okay, well it's such an exciting time in people's lives and so much goes in, so much research, so much um, uh, looking at the internet and determining what's going to be best for each family. But um, we think that there are some key components that are very important. Certainly the crib, um, everyone's, that's usually their starting point. So many things have changed in this industry um, and so many things remain the same. And it is regulated, right? Oh, absolutely. This industry is so highly regulated that all parents should feel very comfortable that anything that are in the stores um, are, are safe um, and um, that the safety of their child is of utmost importance. Um, they're going to be standard within all sizes, and um, but then the design is really where things become very unique. This is a lifestyle crib, a very uh, big trend. It's been around probably about the last eight years. And, wh and what does that mean? It means that it, it will convert and grow with your child. So as they um, are in an in infant stage, the mattress is a little bit higher as they begin to stand up. Um, pull up, you start to lower your mattress and it uh, goes to the lowest level, which is right above your drawer or your stabilizing bar. And then at one point you can take this front off and you can add a toddler safety rail. And then at one point you can take that off and it'll be a three-sided day bed. And then from there it'll go to a double bed for you. Oh, that's actually great. I mean, yeah. so you can really get a lot of use yes, out of it. Yes, yes. So uh, another major component would be dressers. Storage. Storage is key. And storage is a, is an, a big investment, but um, lots of different ways in which that you can accomplish those goals. Um, you want everything right where you can be um, taking care of your child, one hand always on your baby, one hand where you can get at everything you need. So we like a nice nice wide dresser that you can put a, a contour pad on the back and um, attach that safely and then grab your onesies, your jammies, everything you need right there to take care of your baby. So we had a separate changing table so now people, it's, it is actually integrated into the dresser. Yes, um, I think it's important, you, you know, you're going to spend money on a separate changing table but if you can invest that money into a dresser that'll be there until they're off to college, um, you'll get more of a value with that and then it won't be that throwaway piece when right. you're done using it just as a changer. Right. So part of the fun also is getting some of the other accessories and things yes. that are going to so yes. tell us about some of the things that you can well, do. Well, a very important piece and um, in a nursery or in a master suite or somewhere else in the home is a chair that has motion. And we love um, the gliding chairs. Um, they're a piece that um, will be uh, a good, they're certainly an investment, however, they're going to be in your home for a very long time. Um, there's an array of fabrics that you can put on them. They all have performance fabrics where the cleanability is woven in. But the gliding motion is a natural body motion versus a rocking motion where you're having to pump your legs and work at it. So those late night feedings or um, dad reading stories and falling asleep in, in the nursery, um, it's a great way to have a chair that um, offers some motion and some comfort. Comfort's great, I like yes. that. So and also, I mean, you want some storage for things like books and maybe some of the yes. toys, yes. so what are some options for that? Well, certainly a, a child's home becomes full of all kinds of gifts as well as all kinds of clutter. Um, so we think a bookcase is an important piece in a child's nursery. Um, that storage, um, there's novelty storage bins, maybe some um, other places in your homes where you'll add some unique storage, but a um, lot to sort through. Um, in terms of developmental toys too, you put those away and you pull them back out as your child goes through different stages. So not tote it up in boxes and, and put in your attic. It's nice to be able to get those back out or right. when next baby comes along to get those back out. Right, well that's great. Thanks Anne for sharing a lot. And I, I know that people can come here if they have any questions. So, and they have just so many different other wonderful things that are here. You know, the book is a magical book and this is a magical store. I thank yes. for the information here and I gotta go shopping because I've got a new nephew. Oh, fabulous. Looking for some help, thanks. Thank you.